Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at CMU 1.11.5 and discuss exactly what has changed over its previous version. Okay, so before we start, please make sure that you have the latest version of CMU if you have not downloaded it yet. If you are not aware, CMU 1.11.5 had some issues, especially with selecting and deselecting graphics packs. These issues were fixed with 1.11.5b. However, some issues were also introduced which forced the release of 1.11.5c, which is the version you should be using and if you do not have it, you should download it and use it right now. Now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at some general changes in 1.11.5. They have updated the game profiles for certain games. These changes however are not too big, as mostly the only thing that has changed is the buffer cache accuracy designation. They have added more logging options and cleaned up the logging menu quite a bit. They have changed how the online mode works with CMU Emulator. In order to enable online mode, you are now required to transfer all CCERT and SCERT files from your Wii U. Moving on to some input changes, they have added support for emulating Wii mode controllers using keyboard or USB controllers, however, no native support is integrated within CMU just yet. They have also completely reworked the input setting windows, allowing it to open much, much faster from now on. Not only have they reworked it, they have also changed its appearance as you can see on screen right now. Let's quickly move on to some of the audio changes that they have made. They have completely rewrote the SND Core 2 audio driver, as well as adding SND Core 1 API, Get Max Voices, and AX Set Voice Sample Address. It is due to these fixes that we now have much better audio in games like Fast Racing Neo, Mario Party 10, and to an extent Bayonetta 2 and Twilight Princess. Let's quickly move on to some GX2 or graphical render changes. They have added support for creating cube map views into 2D array textures. When I asked Exap, the lead developer of CMU, what this exactly did, he told me this. I added it for Fast Racing Neo, however, there are likely many other games that also needed this feature as well. Staying on topic, they also added support for more vertex attribute formats, and the biggest change so far in this update is that they reduced shader compile time and RAM usage on NVIDIA GPUs. Thankfully, AMD GPU users are not affected by this RAM usage or shader compilation bug in relation to OpenGL, and this fix should give extra performance to CMU users using NVIDIA GPUs who also have a low RAM amount, for example 6 or 8 GB of RAM. So there we go guys, all of the major changes coming in CMU 1.11.5. As always, you can expect my performance comparison videos in the next day or two, as well as my full setup guide. Let me know down in the comments what games you would like tested. The games at the top of my list at the minute are Breath of the Wild, Bayonetta 2, Xenoblade Chronicles and Mario Kart 8. As always, a massive thank you goes out to all of the new patrons over on the BSOD Gaming Patreon. If you wish to get your name featured on this list, as well as a host of other benefits over on the BSOD Gaming Discord, you can visit the link down in the video description and help support the channel. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me. Thank you.